tell you the products we used to apply Gary's makeup, if that helps, and you can find out there's anything else in there. So we used um, Telesis 8, a PPI product. Um, it, it's their newest glue. Um, yeah. And at the time, we'd, we hadn't actually used that, or I hadn't used it in the UK because it just come out. And Gary was quite adamant on using PPI products because he'd used them in the past when it was Telesis 5 and um, Skin Illustrator paints and that kind of stuff. So he was quite adamant. And I had my own batch of the old glue, Telesis 5, but once we did the test makeup and I kind of measured how much Telesis would need to do one makeup, I multiplied it by 60 or 70 times and realised I wouldn't quite have enough to do the entire makeup. So I didn't want to start doing the makeup with that glue and then change to another glue afterwards and then get problems. So I contacted the guys at PPI, Eric, who I dealt with, and just said to him what I was doing. I didn't really tell him, I said I'm just doing this makeup and didn't really let on to what it was but he was so helpful he said don't worry I'll send you a sample I think literally the next day or the following day all the way from LA he sent these glues over and thinners and said just try this it's our new glue um, it's really similar to our old one but you know it's just a better glue and we tried it Gary was happy with it more importantly he, he just didn't want to try another glue do you know what I mean he just thought this is going to be on my face every single day for 14 hours or something like that I want a good glue to be on there so you know we tried it, it worked, Gary was happy, and then they just sent over a whole load of it. They just said, right, have it, you know. And the same with our um, paints. I used um, Skin Illustrator paints. Do you know Skin Illustrator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, alcohol activated paints. Um, to pre paint the pieces, I used these Skin Illustrator paints mixed with Super Baldies. It's just basically that material, the clear material, you mix it with Illustrator and it creates like a paint base. It kind of builds up. Uh, like a paint base with a slight sheen to it so it, it gives you a bit more depth and you can as soon as you paint it it flashes off and dries pretty much instantly and then when you're happy with your paint job you spray over it again with the same material that you made the piece with which is the acetone baldies you know the clear thing you spray it you put it in front of the fan for a few minutes or half an hour and then you can stick it on his face straight away you know there's there's kind of no drying time there's no there's no chance that it won't cure it's just a really good way of painting it you know and, and we had some custom colors made up by ppi to like matches and gary stuff. named one of them yeah in fact gary named it it's called blenheim blush and it's um this red sort of red purpley tone that matches gary's skin perfectly um again you know ppi were i mean they would kind of heard of me briefly i guess when they'd seen stuff but there's this guy from the uk so oh, um, do this makeup and i kept it quite quiet who it was and what it was but they were still really you know forthcoming with it um, and then we started mixing these colours up and I just changed the paint job very slightly once we did the camera tests and I just realised that there wasn't quite anything in their range. I mean, they've got probably hundreds of colours in their range, you know, all scattered about different palettes, but nothing quite was right and I was always having to tweak it and change it to get it to look perfect on Gary's skin, you know, to sort of blend the piece to Gary's skin. So I came up with this new colour um, and then I sent it to PPI and the guy, Kenny Myers at Illustrator, they reformulated it and they made a custom colour and then we said oh can you make us a palette with all the colours that I've used to pre-paint the pieces with so that um, so I write I wrote down the names of the colours sent it to PPI and they sent back a complete custom palette so, you know it's our own one it's got our names on it um, uh, it says darkest hour and inside of the colours and there's the one and I said to Gary uh, they've made a custom colour for us but we need to think of a name what what kind of name and some of the names were as you can imagine, Gary's sense of humour. Some of the names I uh, can't repeat <laughs> on here. So uh, I might tell you afterwards. Um, so then the most sensible name was Blenheim Blush. He said, what about Blenheim Blush? That's a good one. Blenheim, birthplace of Churchill. Um, so that was it. So we sent them off. They sent them back and they've given us palettes and stuff. I should have bought some here today, shouldn't I?